Welcome friends, today we'll be stitching a gorgeous pattern, the cherry blossom tree. And I promise you, after stitching this pattern, you'll definitely become the master of French knots. Let's get started. We'll be starting by filling the trunk and branches with straight stitches and outline stitches, outline or stem stitches. They are basically pretty much the same, depends only how you hold your thread. What I'm doing now, I'm stitching these tiny shapes in the middle of the trunk using the lightest shade of brown. When done stitching these tiny shapes, I'll switch to the darkest brown and continue filling the trunk. consider when stitching this pattern would be first don't be afraid to use long straight stitches when stitching the trunk or as well when stitching the trunk try to follow the natural flow of the design or as you noticed half of my trunk my stitches were leaning towards left and for the right hand side my stitches were leaning towards right another very important thing is uh, to use a milliner's needle for uh, the French knots especially and uh, check out my video about the French knots where, where I'm sharing useful tips for the perfect French knot. a few French knots at the bottom of the trunk. Also you can scatter a few French knots using the lightest shade of violet and place them in the darkest areas already stitched. This will create more contrast and break the monotony. This was it for today guys. Uh, thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it and uh, if you want to try this pattern and practice your uh, French knots. Uh, you can download it from my Etsy shop. Happy stitching! <laughs>